So you know you should do a back test, but you scratch your head, you come up with your idea and you just don't really know what to do. Yeah, you could look through the charts and get a rough idea or you could buy some expensive bit of kit and you know maybe you'll get the answers you want. But what if I told you you could really, really quickly and very easily with just a bit of coding skill, create your own back test so you could easily start from a quick place to know whether your idea has an edge or not. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you with just a few lines of code how you can very simply create a back test around an idea and then get the results, get an equity curve within seconds. It really, really is simple. This took me about five, 10 minutes to build uh, this morning. And I'm gonna show you a bit about the code, the output, and you know how you can learn those skills very quickly and easily in the coming months and in 2026. So let's get into it. So straight into the code, now you can see in terms of lines, it does say 50 there, but if you take out the hashtags, which is just my commenting on what's going on, take out the spaces, you're probably left with about 30 lines of code to get you this back test. Now the important parts of the library is up the top. Why finance is where we're getting our data from. Plotly um, for the visualization, but the important thing for the back test is this here, vector BT. That is the library, the tool that's going to do the hard work of the back testing for us. So going down the code, we first of all get the data from Yahoo Finance. We're going to use Tesla as our example. We've got a start date in there. We're going to use closing price. The strategy is very simple. It's a 1050 um, moving average cross. I'm going to start simple, but just think of the possibilities of you can make this as sophisticated or as complex as you like as you develop out the skills. We've got the entry and exit rules. It's the obvious stuff when it crosses back and vice versa. Then we got the important engine, the back test. As you can see, the vector um, BT and what it's going to do and the stats that it's going to produce for us. Now, the key um, line there is that there, the stats, PF stats, and then a bit further down, the equity PF value, because that's going to give us our equity curve. But the stats, PF stats, that's going to give us all the stuff like it says there, total uh, return, win rate, max drawdown, those type of quick metrics that we love to see. And then basically it goes through into producing a nice equity um, curve for us to see our p and and it plots it down there. So that is literally it. It took me five, 10 minutes you know, to do this. Um, we hit the run button like so up in the top, brings out our PowerShell. So there come the results. They've dropped themselves into the PowerShell here. And as you can see very quickly, that strategy, simple moving, um, crossover, average crossover setup. We can see the start and end date. We've got 709 days in the back test. We started with 100 as our base. We ended up with 183, so an 83% return over that period of time. Um, let's have a scroll down. That's a key number there. Max drawdown, nearly 50%. So, and it was, it was you know, a year's worth of. Um, drawdown as well so a lot of pain there to wear on this strategy so not you know although the end result was good 83 percent you're going to be you know in a bit of agony during that period and only nine trades in total um what have we got we've got an open trade at the moment up um nearly 50 win rate 50 percent you see the best and worst trades the average winning trade average losing trade Profit factor, expectancy, sharp ratio, yeah, that's okay. Uh, nearly one there. And the other ratios. So, you know, quick metrics, total return 83%, max drawdown 49.5%, win rate 50%. So that's how easy it is to produce a back test. But even better than that, I remember I got it to do um, an equity curve. So it's produced an equity curve as well. I'm just going to drag that in. It's because it created it. Um, in a separate page for me here. And we can actually then start to see that drawdown, that horrible drawdown that we live through. And that's a pretty jaggedy old um, equity curve. Starting at the 100, we did end up up 80 odd percent, but the journey there very up and down. But again, this is a brilliant um, example of how quickly you can put an idea 
through a bit of code in just minutes and start to know whether you've got an edge or not, whether you need to do any more work on your strategy, whether it's worth risking any capital to. Like I said, just with a bit of learning on the old Python code and you're up and running, you know, making your trading you know, so much better, so much more efficient, so much more valuable. So how can you do this sort of stuff and learn it yourself quickly, easy? Um, well, the answer is here with me on The Stop Hunter. You go to my website, www.thestophunter.co.uk. I've added a new course and it's available now for um, pre-order with a massive um, discount for the first um, 100 students that sign up, plus a copy of one of my e-books that you can see over my shoulders and the Renko Chart Trading Revolution, the Samurai Trading Code. But if you go to the Python for Trading page, it's going to tell you all about this course and it's going to take you from zero to hero in this world. It's going to let you do this sort of stuff that we've seen today. Now, you can see if you scroll down what it's all about, um, takes you through what you're going to learn, the course structure. And I've split it into three phases. Stage one is for those that know nothing about Python to get you up to the level where you can then move into stage two, which is all about Python for trading. How you build indicators, charts, signals, back testing, stress testing, you know, everything that you could think of that you need for the world of trading to get you up and going. And also building your own trading, you know, automated trading systems. It's all in there in that stage two. And because we're also looking into the future, stage three is an introduction to machine learning. If you can implement that into your trading as well, it's going to take you up another notch as well. So we look at that too. And who's it for? Like I said, it's for traders who want to up their skill set, move into the world of automation. Maybe you're a coder and want to move into trading um, to get some strategies all up and running. Then it's going to show you you know how to do that it's good for beginners all the way through to advanced traders and it's going to give you hopefully that edge for 2026 to trade you know, so like i say take your trading up a gear um i've really thrown the kitchen sink at this one and i think what's different from other courses is are these sometimes you get a course that's built by a coder who doesn't know trading or a trader who doesn't know coding i sit in both camps and hopefully I explain my way through all the coding. So I put it relevant to the world of trading and explain why we are using what we're using um, from both sides of the camp, trading and um, coding. So hopefully that makes it a much stronger course. But like I said for um, students, the first hundred that sign up, it's only £119 at the moment. Plus you get a choice of one of those ebooks that I mentioned. After that, um, it turns to £199 and we're going live with it in January. Um, so all you have to do is like click on the buy now buttons, set yourself up, um, get an email, let me know what book you want. I'll send you that and then wait until it's ready to go. Got a lot of FAQs there for you as well. Like I said, visit that page, Python for Trading on the website and you're good to go. There you go. How about that for a quick back testing solution? Something to give you an edge, which is oh so important in the world of trading. Knowing you know, where you're starting from makes your trading life a whole load easier. Now that didn't take me too long and it won't take you too long either if you like get into the Python coding and please, please check out that new course, you know, it's i think got everything you need if you're into trading you're into coding um you want to like i say develop your trading career then i think it's a great starting place for you and don't forget the offers that we've got on there at the moment well if you've liked the video please give us the thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification buttons because we've got lots more content coming your way so i hope you've really enjoyed this very quick example, very simple example, not too complex, but just showing you the power of Python for trading. Hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next video.